Meanwhile, Lindsey Davis, you're with the Rubio campaign down in Florida. March 15th, Florida is a must win now for him. And one of the things you're seeing in the crowd tonight is a lot of more signs about Donald Trump than Marco Rubio. You're exactly right. You know, Marco Rubio has not won a single state. He could very well finish out the night 0 for 15, but you certainly couldn't tell that based on the energy and enthusiasm that he displayed on the stage here behind me just a little while ago. And the crowd was equally as excited. Among one of the first things out of his mouth was Donald Trump. He called him a con artist. He said, look, state by state, the polls show that his numbers are going down and our numbers are going up. He went on to say that, look, the pundits want to call me an underdog. And yes, I'll accept that. Uh, but this is a country of underdogs and we will win. He certainly was forward looking to the, the primary here in Florida saying that he knows how to win in Florida. Of course, there are 99 delegates at stake. This is a winner take all state. But interestingly, the polls show Donald Trump lead, leading. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much. Marco Rubio does join us right now. Uh, Senator Rubio, thanks for joining us tonight. You're still without a win. How can thanks, you get George. the nomination? Well, first of all, as you know, George, you followed this a long time. We're still in the proportional phase in a very unusual election. We're going to take delegates, major number of delegates, in virtually every state tonight. We're waiting to see what happens in Minnesota as well. I was 15 to 20 points down in Virginia in every public poll. And tonight we will leave Virginia with almost just basically the same number of delegates as Donald Trump. I think the question tonight is, what happened to Ted Cruz's Southern strategy? He was supposed to win Iowa, which he did, South Carolina, which he didn't, finished third, and then all these southern states. And instead, tonight, the only thing he won was his home state of Texas and the neighboring state of Oklahoma. He's beating you pretty and he's handily. And he had to share delegates there as well. Well, for, in his home state of Texas, sure. But here's the bottom line. If you look at the map from here on out, it gets better for us. This was supposed to be it. His whole campaign was built on the southern strategy. It didn't happen. He lost them all, except for his home state. We, on the other hand, have showed growth. If you look at Virginia. We were down 20 points going into tonight in every poll. We basically narrowed out to nothing. We feel really good about Minnesota. I know the results are not in there yet. And I think looking forward at the map now and the states that are to come, we're going to start racking up some victories. And then when we get to winner take all, we love the way the map shapes up for us, especially if it's a narrower field. And here's the other point I would make, George. In most of these campaigns, you have a front runner. And at this point, you would have people coming around and saying, all right, it's time to rally around the front runner. That will never happen with Donald Trump. We have the opposite. We have people telling us you must continue to fight on, and, and that's what's happening. You go to our website, MarcoRubio.com. I ask people to join our effort. We have had record numbers of days of people signing up and people donating. We feel really good moving but, but forward Senator, after tonight. But, Senator, you're 15 points at least the behind strategy in Florida, didn't work aren't out you? For Ted Cruz. Excuse me. You, all the polls, public polls no, out right now? No, I don't now. believe those polls. That was one poll. No. No. First of all, those, that was one or a couple polls. We've seen other numbers that ind indicate otherwise. We'll win Florida. I'm confident of that, especially when we have two weeks to explain to the people of the state just exactly what we're getting with Donald Trump, a world-class con artist. I mean, this is a guy who's trying to do to the American people what he did to the students at Trump University. And by the way, how could the Republican Party ever nominate someone who refuses to condemn the Ku Klux Klan as he did repeatedly this week? He okay. has no chance in a general election. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote for Hillary Clinton, and people are starting to realize it. And you watch tonight, he has basically underperformed the public polling in every state on the map. Senator Rubio, thanks for joining us tonight.